My colleague, Professor Thorwaldson Thorwaldson, uh, who is a prominent volcanologist in Iceland, uh, believes that the strength of the March 16 eruption is nothing different to what it was in the past three eruptions in the December, January, and February. On the other hand, the Icelandic Meteorological Office argues that the input of the magma and the exit of it, output of as lava, is stable. At the moment, it seems that the eruption will continue to go. This is a friendly discussion. It's nothing like a clash of the titans or anything like that. But in a scientific term, it's a friendly argument in an effort to actually describe the behavior the of, this of the earthquake, see how in it that is. area of the source, the and earthquakes that we had was has weaker been small because probably to what the, have seen in the dike past. system is already even provided the, the path for the magma. Even the we are seeing easier just to, needle uh, to shape. rise. Just previously, uh, and this is the eruption you can see now. This eruption was nothing uh, different from what we have seen. The landfall also. After the eruption, the downfall of the ground was similar to what we have seen in sourcing and the surrounding areas. In the previous eruption of this system, we had uh, bigger storms of the earthquake in the sourcing volcanic system. Probably because the ground was solid, it had to break it apart through the earthquakes, crush the, and pulverize the, the pathways and make it. As the time goes by, every month we had one eruption, these pathways were open. They were not in. Uh, they were not actually a much friction and impact uh, by the through the earthquakes to create pathways, so the magma could flow. There was no need for more earthquakes, powerful earthquakes. Uh, two uh, prominent volcanologists have argued that the past three eruptions show a trend which is decreasing the strength of the eruption. But the Icelandic Meteorological Office, on the red line actually, the trend they're describing, says that no, the strength is staying the same. It may continue, unlike what the prediction of these two prominent volcanologists is there, that if we not finish by the end of the summer, it may continue to 2029, 20, 2030, 2031. The current eruption that we are seeing is starting on Saturday, 16th of the March, is actually going on. It seems that they're forming craters. We have seen ghost craters, ghost winds forming. When you look at the close-up of the date, uh, in cameras, you can see the uh, formation of the craters is actually in the same way that we have seen in the Little Quarter and the uh, Fagadestrial before that. This is the Little Quarter volcano you can see now. It formed the crater, but the, all the fissures around it were closed. This is the Fagadestrial and this is the Meridor one. So to see who is right, we can wait four days, as Professor Thorwaldon Thorwaldson has uh, suggested, just to see if this uh, eruption abates, it will decrease and disappear, or no, it will continue. This is just a clash of geologists in a friendly way, and the reality, as always, will be the judge, and we will see how it will end up, this argument.